Long walk, teeny talks. Long walk, teeny talks. Long walk, teeny talks. Long walk, teeny talks. Yeah! Welcome back to Long Walk Teeny Talks. My name is David Hensley. I'm the owner and creative director of Long Walk Productions, and I am joined once again by my beautiful co-host, my wife, Katie Bearden. How are you, Katie? Hello! I'm doing great. I got my McAllister's... <laughs> I'm stroking out is what I'm doing. I've got my McAllister's sweet tea over here, so maybe I'm just jonesing from the high of the sugar. Yeah, yeah, just riding that sugar wave. But I'm doing great. Okay, good. As I grind my teeth into nubs. <laughs> <laughs> well, Katie, what are we talking about today? David, you know, I don't I don't know when you're planning on posting this, but it gets earlier and earlier every single year shopping for the holidays. Mm-hmm. So um, if you're listening in the future, um, happy holidays and hang on, um, because we're going to read off some of the most uh, interesting one-star reviews on wacky items from Amazon.com. I know this isn't a, a new concept whatsoever, but like I just went down a rabbit hole of just things that are suggested for me, and I just wanted to click on them and, number one, read the descriptions of what was suggested for me and also see what the worst takeaway was from some poor soul that purchased this item was a verified purchase and how they received their item so all right so would you like to go first i would like to go first and um hopefully do you have i have screenshots of all of mine so we'll be posting the pictures of these items on the facebook page on the long walk productions facebook page so if you would like to buy them for a certain someone this holiday season. Um, ye be warned, I guess, is what these uh, these one-star reviews are, are telling us. Um, so my first one <laughs> is I got, I got tickled just at the name of this. It is a brand named Archie McPhee, and it is the Archie McPhee Hand Squirrel. Oh, my God. <laughs> Which literally is five plastic pieces that a person can put on their hand to replicate squirrel hands, squirrel feet, and a squirrel head. So it retails for $10.40 on Amazon.com. And, oh my god, okay, so here's the description. (laughs) Unless you're nuts, you'll realize that having a squirrel on the end of your arm is way more interesting, though less practical, than your boring old hand. (laughs) This set of five soft vinyl finger puppets, four, two, and three-fourths inches paws, and a one three-fourths inches head is perfect for climbing trees, getting barked at by dogs, and burying food in the winter. Don't blame us if you find yourself breaking into a bird feeder, Mission Impossible style, for a few sunflower seeds. Handy squirrels can be underhanded. This is called the handy squirrel? I've lost the will to live, is what this is telling me like i don't want to you do are this sitting anymore. in the dark in your apartment <laughs> with a loaded gun in one hand and your it. handy squirrel on the other hand and you are looking at yourself <laughs> with its plastic dead face on your middle finger oh my god like okay wondering when you're gonna get the gumption to finally <laughs> just, end it all i just you know what if the handy squirrel is writing your note and it's just like, so, first of all, suicide is not funny. This is, you know, absolutely, you know, to make it 100% clear, we're just joking. But to have the handy squirrel, like, petting, like, and fuck you, dad, you never loved me. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so. Goodbye, I- cruel squirrel. <laughs> Oh, my God. Okay. So, clearly a gag gift, right? Just by the description, you know, 
clearly something to make somebody go tee hee ha ha and like throw it in the trash and pollute the earth. So I pulled up the one star reviews <laughs> from this item. Uh, and this first one is by Jer, G E R, with an apostrophe. Jer! Um, one star was not impressed, but it's a cute gag gift. Ended up tossing the arms and feet and kept the head only. <laughs> A, why? A review why? that you could easily transcribe right. to a number of products. Yes. But, and why Why did you spend 10 doll hairs to just keep the head? Like, I don't, I don't, was that worth it? Like, just to have that disposable income. I to was be about like, to say, if you've got. Fuck th- these arms and legs. I just want the head of the squirrel. If you've got enough fuck you money. Right. That you're like, you know what? Bills are paid. <laughs> I, I'm keeping the wife and kids and the pets and all their finery. Right. I'm going to buy myself a handy squirrel. Oh, oh God. boy. <clears throat> so, and the the next one-star review, uh, I'm probably going to read at least two, um, is by Rhonda Cameron. One star. Not even funny. Oh. Or a good gift. The only thing I liked about it was that it was a squirrel. Well, parts of a squirrel Rhonda what in the fresh hell did you think this was what yeah. like who Rhonda put a sense of humor on your Amazon right? wish list exactly. <laughs> or do you lose the will to live I mean honestly like it's a gag gift if if you were intending this to be the end all to beat all to change a person's life that's not going to be it at least it was parts of a squirrel. At least, at it least was it parts was parts of a squirrel. It was parts of a squirrel. Like, what was she wanting? What? Wh- I need more information. Rhonda, email us. Rhonda, if you're listening to this episode. Rhonda. <laughs> oh, All right. God. So is it my turn? Yes, it's your turn. Okay, so full disclosure, I kind of misunderstood the prompt, and I just ended up looking at a whole bunch of one-star reviews of various things. Oh, so, well, that's okay. All of these came from Reddit. So maybe you're not, for this first one, looking for a gift to buy somebody, but you're looking for a nice place to visit. This is a Milwaukee County Zoo. One star. Okay, so first off, me and my family love to visit all different types of zoos, elephants being my all-time favorite. When we took my daughter to see the elephants, I was mortified by the absolute lack of care and concern. This elephant had the largest erection I have ever seen. (laughs) My daughter... My daughter... (laughs) My daughter... Damn it. My daughter began asking me what that was, and she's only three five exclamation points. If the staff took care of these poor animals and all caps relieved them, (gasps) then maybe my three-year-old wouldn't be asking about gigantic elephant erections. I'm sorry. The the next review is five stars. Family day was free and fun. (laughs) After, I, I like, other duties as required... Like, oh my God, there is no chance in hell that right. I'm doing that. All right, Bob. So you need to go around <laughs> at the end of every night. You need to make sure it, this is absolutely essential. You right. have to make sure that all of these cages are locked. Okay. Of course. Yeah. And you're going to want to make sure that they have food. Mm-hmm. Um, make sure that you have cleaned up all the you know sure. waste yeah. that is accumulated. Of course. Yeah. Um, I'm going to need you to manually jerk off all of the male elephants. Uh, sure. Um, um, when um, possible. Can you repeat that last one? Just. Just yeah, for, yeah. Just make sure to, when you're going around at night, clean up the waste that accumulates. You know the feces, right? And everything. Got, got and it. Maybe yep. if they get sick or somebody sure. tosses something yeah. like a careless patron. Oh, I know. Um, just make tossing sure that people that, tossing people. You know, careless people tossing you I'll know their trash yeah, into the pan. They are trash. Things like that. Yeah. Whatever. And um, <clears> if, <throat> if any of the lights go out, you sure. know, make sure that they change the bulbs. Those those are the basic uh, duties. Okay. All yeah. Right. Lock right. up. Uh, clean up. Jerk off. Change bulbs. Huh. Uh, all right. Uh, you start Monday. Bring uh, your own gloves. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. That's so... That can't be real. Like, do you think people... I mean, I, when I was going through Amazon, some people are just, you know, just being douchebagels about writing reviews, and they're not really, like... 
I don't actual, know. You'd have to ask Marie Kay. Oh my god! Oh my god! How her visit to the zoo and like was. the the perception of her to to be like you know what? How dare they? How dare a natural creature in a caged habitat have natural functions? And like, how dare what? these employees not jerk off that elephant? Girl, how closed off are you? I've heard of cage the elephant. <laughs> I'll just let the rest of that joke tell itself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, what's your uh, okay. what's your second one star well, review? My oh no, well that's that's going to be tough to top. Uh, this one or to bottom. Stop that. You know, I'm sad for the the f- fictional character that we've created in Bob the Elephant Zookeeper Masturbator. The Masturbator. That's upsetting to me. Oh, Bob. Okay. <clears throat> so my next one is a m- much more pure and wholesome one-star review um, because basically it is a the Deco Dine store math wall clock, which has a uh, the each hour marked on the face of the clock with a simple math equation, which first of all kill me, right? Like I don't I don't like for. Two o'clock, it has the square root of four on the face. If I'm drunk, like, I don't... And you just want to know what time it is. And I just want to know when I can go to sleep. Like, this is going to bother the hell out of me. So I'll show you the picture. Oh, no, fuck that. Yeah, it's a lot. If I'm at work and I want to know how much longer until I get to leave (laughs) and I have to do math to figure Mm -hmm. it out, I'm going to quit and then walk into traffic. Right. There there are fractions and... uh, I mean, I guess it's not that difficult. It says, marked with a simple math equation. Well, Brenda, you didn't go to liberal arts school, so. All right. So here are the one-star reviews. Anonymous. Do not recommend. These are these are purely, like, actual, you know, not crazy off-the-wall uh, reviews, but I still thought it was kind of funny. Um, received this product and it was broken. I tried several several different batteries and it did nothing. Do not recommend. And then the second one says, mechanical flaw! And it was just by an Amazon customer. As a math teacher, I was beyond excited to purchase this clock. I am very unhappy with the mechanics of this pe- piece. The clock stops periodically. A lot of exclamation points in here. I have used name brand batteries and have had no luck with this clock running correctly. Now, okay, I can see a math teacher wanting this for their classroom or whatever, bless them, you know, spending money out of their own pocket. They deserve better. Um, But at the end of the day, like how many of these are they actually selling? It's awful. And why does that teacher hate her students? Yeah. And why do they need to tell time? Like, don't they have iPhones? Yeah, just look at your phone. Oh God! <laughs> oh. All right, so your turn. I'm not entirely sure what restaurant this is for, but I know I never want to go there. One star. If you like slow, rude service and hot grease thrown at you, this <laughs> is the place for you. <laughs> oh my God! That really tells a story, doesn't oh, it? Oh, it does. I can't wait. Right. So that, 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 that was, was the entire oh, thing. Oh, no, I need more information. Yeah. Like, I need more people to write detailed reviews about their experience. Like, I, I appreciate a review that has a picture of the broken item or, you know, you wearing the item. So I can just, I, I need... I need to see what hurt you. I also need to see, you know how some businesses can respond to their reviews? Yes. I need the owner of this restaurant to respond to this review. I'm very sorry that Jim was having a bad day and decided to fling the grease trap mm-hmm. at you. Yeah. He, he he has since been let go. You know, one thing that we might want to explore, too, is now uh, Amazon and lots of different uh, websites have questions you can ask about the product. Mm-hmm. I neglected to add this onto the math wall clock, but the first question on the Amazon page about it was, does this clock come with ibuprofen? <laughs> they had to answer it. And it's like, no, it comes as a regular clock and not with medicine. Wow. Mm-hmm. All right, your turn. <clears throat> okay, my turn. This has to be one of the most terrifying things I've ever looked at in my life. Clearly, um, a, a novelty coin bank 
from probably not from a place, you know, in these United States, we'll say. And it has a face that is terrifying. It's like, it's like face from Nickelodeon, but it's high as hell. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, and it's hot pink, and it has two little beady eyes and like a... a that looks like something Buffalo Bill would make. In yeah, of the yeah it kind of looks like a, a, a skin bank. <laughs> um but welcome to the skin bank yeah it, it's it's awful and i've seen i've seen things like this like a lot of uh japanese videos especially there's one is so cute it's a totoro bank or uh, i'm sorry a um a ghost face bank and you put the coin on his little tongue and he eats it or you know a cat pops out of the mm-hmm. box and pushes the coin into the bank this you feed the coins into its mouth and well, of course, it hungers. Yeah, it's it's upsetting. Um, you'll you'll have listeners. You'll definitely have to check this picture out on the Facebook page. Um, but it is a money saving collection piggy bank with automatic <laughs> mouth. <laughs> oh, there's nothing I love more in this world of ours than automatic <laughs> mouth. Yeah, automatic mouth. Okay, so the first one star review says simply from Courtney Kramer McKinney. It doesn't work. Mine arrived in the mail today. After putting brand new batteries inside, it wouldn't work. I tried other batteries as well, and it wouldn't work. A waste of money. I, I for, uh, got to mention that this is $15. What was this person's name, the reviewer? Courtney Kramer McKinney. Well, goddamn, Courtney, it was full. I Wait know. a while. <laughs> oh, it's got a slow emptying tummy. <clears throat> And then this one by Dana, one star, deceiving, much, much smaller than I imagined from the pictures. Dana, how big of a bank do you need? Like what? All right, money bags, go to an actual bank at that point. And then a a couple of other reviews said, I couldn't put dollar bills in there. It jammed up the mouth. It's like, oh my God. This is a coin bank. It's a coin bank. Like you're not supposed to fill it full of pudding like what what are you doing i hunger (laughs) right feed me oh god it's so scary feed me coins yeah so there's that all right my turn yep your turn all right so this review is actually from amazon and uh this person was kind enough to post a picture of their product Mm -hmm. um see i appreciate that it's um well, it's a bag of Legos, mm-hmm. unassembled Legos, probably mm-hmm. opened the box and just took the bag out. It's a one-star review that said, Legos came broken. My Lego set was broken when I opened it. <laughs> I don't think this person entirely understands the concept of Legos. Oh, God, no. Which is a sentence I never thought I'd have I to know. say, the concept of Legos. Broken, broken Legos. Yeah, unassembled pieces of Legos. We'll throw them on the kitchen floor and step on them. Yeah. Like, I just, I don't, I don't understand people's, like... Did you look at the picture of this and think that it was going to arrive fully right, assembled for you? Right. Like, just, what, what are we doing? Like, no Legos do that. They all come in pieces. When Jim is done jerking off that elephant, is he supposed to assemble your Legos for you? Uh, first of all, his name is Bob. All right. Well, when Bob is done jerking off that elephant, he's not going to have the time or the inclination to put your Lego set together for you. He might. Laura, he might be a really good dad. Laura S. Laura S. Yeah. Put your own Lego set together. It's not broken. Oh, my God. Yeah. So there it is. Why are people so awful? Legos came broken. Oh, okay. So... Here's my next one, and it's probably my my favorite one. <laughs> this is a 10-piece game jerky sticks pack. Alligator, elk, buffalo, kangaroo, ostrich, pheasant, venison, wild boar variety pack from Buffalo Bob. So, essentially, in this variety pack, you, you get individual sticks. They kind of look like Slim Jims, and they're supposed to be like these exotic meats. Um, retails for $16.90. I'm sorry, any beef jerky that you get that that's cheap, like, I don't eat it. 
Yeah, no, it. $16 is what you pay for one strip of jerky exactly. when you go to a jerky store, exactly. especially with exotic shit like ostrich and... Right. Yeah. So that already raises an eyebrow. Yeah. Correct? So, but here we are. And, and you know, it's it says it's $2.25 an ounce. Mm, so it's it's hard to really tell how big or like what the quantity of the stick is. I tried not to be phallic, but I think I still walked into it. Anyway. The quantity of the stick. The quantity of the stick. So It's the worst Harry Potter novel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. One star by Tammy. The headline says, Ban Boozles. Ban Boozles. Which is a, a word that I'm going to start saying more often. Bamboozles. Oh, oh, bamboozles. Oh, bamboozles. Not even bamboozle. Ban. B-A-N. Oh, ban. Bamboozles. Bamboozles. So it's plural. Let me see if I can say that more times. Um, I got this as a gag gift for someone and did not realize. Oh, I'm sorry. Hang on. Oh, I, I skipped ahead. Hang on. All right. So this one. This, this I is, got somebody jerky as a gag gift. <laughs> They're a vegetarian. It really pissed them off. <laughs> yeah. Well, it would be a good gag gift. So that was for my next one. Sorry about that. These, This is the one for the jerky. One star from Cassidy that just says, nasty. These things are nasty. I bought them for my husband as a Christmas gift. He ate one and got very sick. In quotes, throwing up and diarrhea for two days. Do not buy. After one stick. Yeah. Cassidy. He didn't stop at one stick. He didn't Cassidy. stop. He he Don't lie bound to them. He took one of her hair bands and pulled all sixteen out of the wrappers and ate them all. I was gonna say in one bite, maybe. Yeah, I don't I'm just like, deep throat and jerky and throwing up. So this one has a picture and it's one star from Jenna, and it says the product had mold. Oh. Yeah, and she she put a picture on here. One of the sticks had mold and the packaging was bubbled up. Oh. Yeah, so these these are just bad news bears. Like if if they're making an old old Harold and Cassidy throw up and have the poops on Christmas day, like it's it's probably not for you. And especially for it to be that cheap of a price, right. like there's no chance in hell that that's yeah. actual quality beef yeah no cassidy all of those were made from one ingredient and one ingredient only and that is alley cat yeah yeah and you know uh, a lot of the other reviews were like it just tastes like beef they all taste the same blah 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 you know like every everybody was expecting like this this very exotic like alligator and you know bison or whatever and like a lot of the reviews also said like these aren't exotic at all and this is just gourmet grade A hamster tail. Well, like, and a lot of people were like, I eat this this every single day, like meaning venison and bison and whatever. I think bison's exotic. Yeah. I mean, for where we live in the world. And but for us, you know, poor people. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, you know, I thought that was pretty interesting and pretty nasty. All right. Well, this next one, uh, this is not a one star review. This is a five-star review. I know I broke the rule, but this is what you call a sharp left turn. I see. Uh, this is for some kind of Swedish fish knockoff. Ew. Uh, from Monica. The review comes from Monica. Tastes bomb. Not too sweet, but still has that delicious Swedish fish flavor. I wouldn't say it's spot-on Swedish fish, but it's very close and more subtle. Does not feel like a big, brolic black dude named Requeez pulling a bedsheet over your taste buds. <laughs> yours, yours are so appropriate for you. Can I just say that? Like, we, I gave David this prompt. He went on his merry way. I went on my merry way. Mine are grounded in some sort of reality, and yours are just, uh, you know, yours are very distinctly your your taste and flavor. Yeah. Your moldy beef stick. <laughs> Katie, stop telling our listeners about my moldy beef stick. <laughs> it's all beef and no exotic flavors. <laughs> uh, all right, so hit us with your last okay, one. Okay, my last one. <sighs> boy, oh boy. Tis the season to be holly and jolly. Okay. Bamboozles. 
Let's see. All right. So my very last one, this is uh, being sold by Melinda Ann. And it is also another gag gift. It is a thousand pictures of huge tits and big boobs. Funny fake book cover journal lined notebook with no pictures. Again, a gag gift for men. So pretty cut and dry just by the subject line of what the item is. You think you're getting a book of huge boobs and it turns out to be a fucking journal. Yeah. So I can't jerk off to this. Did you write these reviews? <laughs> oh my god, is there a review that says I can't jerk off? No, to this? no, 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 no. Damn. No, no. There's about to be. No. So again, the description. Are you looking for a humorous, practical joke gag gift for men? I guess so, if they're all white and heterosexual cis men. Sure, why not? Um that's You a, should write ad copy. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was a tangent. Um it's true, though. It's not for every man. Um, this is not a picture book, but it's a blank lined journal. Imagine the recipient's face when they think they'll see beautiful women, but it's really lined interior. So the features of this notebook include 110 pages, white paper, matte finish cover. So off to, off to the reviews. One star from Tammy Bamboozles. I got this as a gag gift for someone and did not realize it was blank. Tammy's reading comprehension <sighs> skills are lacking. Tam- Tammy couldn't even read the description on the front of the am- like the initial Amazon image. Hopefully, descri- Tam- like hopefully Tammy's got big boobs. <sighs> I'm telling you what. Um. And then one more, one star, from Ritter. What a joke! This book is empty. No pictures. It's only a joke. He finishes as a notebook. He finished, all right. Well, not really. I don't, I don't guess he did, because, you know. Uh, an uncomfortable amount of people stopped it. That was a review from France, by the way. Oh. So the translation might be a little, little different, but that was in July of wow. this year. Read me the title of this again. Um, what a joke. This book is empty. No, no, no. The, the title of the oh. product. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, a thousand pictures of huge tits and big boobs. Full stop. People get there and they go add to cart. Exactly. Or they just they just look at the picture. Because if he was from France, he might not have known, like, I, I would assume, like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Anyway, it retails for $8. So wow. this, this notebook of, you know, clearly a gag gift, people still can't get out of their own ways to, to read the description to see what they're getting. Okay. So that's... Uh, going on the christmas list for you yeah I know always... how you love to journal <clears throat> and look at big boobs <laughs> all right well this last one that i've got uh, is got, for we... a uh, a kid's picture book the title of the review is for the pandemic babies what the review says this book is very informative and the colors of the picture are warm and vibrant. It couldn't have came out a perfect time with everything going on in the world today. Good read for all ages. One star. <laughs> now, if What's you heard book? that, and th- I don't know. I just found the review. But if you heard me <sighs> say that and you think that I read it incorrectly, I did not. No. The colors of the picture are warm and vibrant. It couldn't have came out at a perfect time. With everything going, yeah. Mm. Mm. A glowing review mm-hmm. for this product that nonetheless you know they what? gave one star. I'm going to give them a pass only because I, we're clearly not parents in the pandemic and quarantine. So she was probably reading that book for the millionth time and was just like, you know what? I'm three wine spritzers in. Let me write a review. I'm assuming it's a woman. That's terrible of me. Um, I'm sorry. I do have uh, just two really quick ones here. Mm-hmm. Um that I, I forgot that I found these and saved them. Mm-hmm. I'm going to read this one to you, and then I want you to tell me where you think it's the what it's for. Okay. One star 
this is this is the terrible place to buy a car. We bought one in October. Didn't get the title for tags till February. That's all one unpunctuated sentence. So this is the terrible place to buy a car. What do you think this is a review for? A McDonald's. You're close. It's a Krispy Kreme. Oh. That's a one star review for a Krispy Kreme. <laughs> And then finally, I have no idea what this is for. You didn't even come in our store. (laughs) What are you doing? Um, And this is, I have no idea, again, what this is for. One star review. Didn't buy it. Out of stock. What? What? Left it one star. Didn't buy it. Out of stock. Out of stock. Didn't buy it. Out of stock. And uh, just to wrap things up, I told our co-host from uh, Long Long Talks, and this is a work, Chris Barnes, that we were doing this episode, and he went and looked a bunch of stuff up, and... Of the list he sent me, this is probably the best one. It's a one-star review for the classic 2008 superhero film, The Dark Knight. One star, not enough nudity. (laughs) So that is our episode. Thank you so much for this prompt, Katie. And I hope all of our listeners out there enjoyed it. Now, Katie, if people want to find you online and follow you, where can they do that at? You can follow me on Instagram at KTB Won't Stop Believing. Bamboozles. 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 And if you want to follow me personally, you can do that on Instagram at DB Hensley. If you want to like uh, my company, Long Walk Productions on Facebook, you can search for Long Walk Productions or go to facebook.com slash Long Walk Pro. And if you want to follow our podcast channel on Facebook, you can search for Long Walk Podcast. If you want to follow us on Instagram, be sure to, I'm sorry, not Instagram. If you want to follow us on Twitter, be sure to do that at Long Walk Podcast, no S. So thank you very much for listening for this teeny talk. Stay teeny. <laughs>